In this video, we're looking at Microsoft Excel and spreadsheets, and we're going to look at how we can sort our data. If you want your data to be sorted by a particular criteria, let's look at how we can do that. So you have got a spreadsheet of some students that are in different teams and they've got two marks and they've got a final mark and I want to sort the data. I want to find out who got the top final mark and I want to sort the final column so that the top mark is at the top and the smallest mark will be at the bottom. So that is what we call descending order. Descending order means from biggest to smallest or if we're dealing with text from Z to A. But I want to sort it so that if I have the top mark over here that the person who achieved that top mark also moved to the top. So I want all this data to stay consistent. So if we move this mark to the top, then all that data must move to the top as well. So to do that, I'm going to select all of the cells and we'll go all the way to the bottom to select all the data. And then I'm going to come here to sort and filter. And so we want to basically do a sort. Now we could do a A to Z. If I do that, it basically sorts it on the first column, which is not what I want. I want to sort it on the final column. So I'm actually going to come here and do a custom sort. And when I get to a custom sort, this box appears at the top. Now what's nice is because my range of cells has headings and I've included that in the sort, I don't want those headings to be part of the actual sort with regard to them moving up and down, but my data has headings so I can click on that little block over there. So therefore, when I sort by a particular column, it actually uses the heading that is above it. So I don't want to sort it by name. I want to sort it by the final mark and I want the biggest mark to be at the top. So I want it to go from largest to smallest. So that's what I want to so I'm going to click OK. And by doing that, you see that the top mark is now at the top and the values for that top mark have also moved to the top. So now you can see there's the top mark and there's the bottom mark. So we can see that it is sorted in descending order. Let's say I want to sort this data on multiple criteria. I want to find who got the highest mark one for each team. So there I want to first sort by the teams and then I want to sort by the marks. Now in order to do that, let's just, just do it step by step and I'll show you how it works. So we're going to do a custom sort now. And now we are going to sort not by final, but by the team. And I want to go from A to Z. Let's just do it in alphabetical order. So now, yeah, you can see I've got all of the ABCs together. Yeah, I've got all the MNOs together. And here I've got all the XYs z's together that's great but i want to sort it so that the top mark of a is at the top so just these ones i want it to be sorted according to mark one so now i can go and manually do each one individually but there's a quicker way of doing that i want to first sort a b c and then when that criteria is the same i want to move to a second criteria where it sorts it by mark one so by doing this i'm going to select the data again and so that's how multiple sorts work when you've got multiple levels so first sort by the team and then we're going to add a level and now i'm going to sort by mark one and I want that to be from largest to smallest so sort by team first and then only when those teams are the same will we then move to this particular criteria we sort by mark so let's try that quickly so there we go we've got ABC is still together but yeah you can see mark one is at the top and it goes so if I just look at this you can see ABC's it goes from top to bottom then when I start the MNOs you'll notice that it starts again from the top to the bottom and the same for the XYZ's top to bottom. So that's how you sort by multiple criteria. For example, alphabetical, you normally sort by surname. And then if two people have the same surname, it then moves across to name and sorts it in alphabetical order according to name. So that's how you can sort by multiple criteria as well. Now, if my data did not have headings, just take note that if we go and sort it this way and we do a custom sort, we want to say that our data does not have headings. If I leave it like that, it's going to think that that top row is the headings. So I'm going to say data does not have headings. And now we actually refer to column C and column D, for example, in this case. So if you don't have headings in your selection or in your actual data, then you can use the column headings. Just make sure that that is not selected. For more Excel content, go to our YouTube channel at Mr. Long RT and Cat. Click on the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you and follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.